The Bess Highway is one of the most important roads in Tasmania. It runs from Launceston to the sea at Devonport, and then links up all in the northwest, ending at Marawa on the west coast. The film covers the road from Stanley to Marawa, a distance of 46 miles. Head westward along the through swamp country, then through a long stretch of native bush, until we arrive at our destination, Marawa, at the end of the Bass Highway. And now, back to Stanley. These ruins remind us that the town of Stanley was the earliest settlement on the northwest coast. Under the nut, that distant mass of rock, the pioneers started building their town in 1826. Many of their houses are still in use, and the whole town has an old world air about it. The main street winds around the foot of the nut and leads down to the wharves. Stanley is the nearest to the mainland of Tasmania's ports. It has been the main outlet for the produce from Circular Head District ever since the days of the Van Diemen's Land Company. Timber and potatoes are the two chief exports. Cargo boats make regular calls here to load timber for mainland markets. Stanley is not a big port, but a quarter of a million bags of potatoes may be loaded in one year, and perhaps 200 boats may call so a new wharf is being built. The fishing fleet plays an important part in the lives of Stanley folk. The fishermen sell their catch to the fish canneries or to city markets on the mainland. If you climb up onto the top of the nut, you get a bird's eye view over the wharves. High up on the nut are the masts of the radio link between Tasmania and the mainland. Nine telephone calls can be transmitted at the same time over the system to any part of Australia. Nearby, in Perkins Bay, is the place where the submarine telegraph cable goes across Bass Strait to King Island and Victoria. This cable carries seven telephone channels, 18 telegraph channels, and one broadcast channel. The Postmaster General's department has a station for maintenance of the cable at Perkins Bay. Overhead wires carry the station's transmissions to and from all parts of Tasmania. Back on the Bass Highway, we leave Stanley and head westwards for Smithton. Smithton lies at the mouth of the Duck River. The town has grown fast in recent years, and today it is by far the biggest in the far northwest. Its port, its butter factory, its sawmills, and its cannery make Smithton the main center of industry for the Secular Head District. The Duck River is not deep enough for big boats to call, but smaller boats come regularly. Timber and potatoes are two of Smithton's main exports. To the Smithton cannery near the river, many farmers send vegetables for canning. The fertile soil of the swamps around Smithton is first rate for vegetable growing. Green peas are the principal vegetable for canning. More and more canning peas are grown every year because they are a simple and profitable crop for the farmer. Much of the swamp country has been drained and turned into rich grazing land. With its mild climate and good rainfall, this area is ideal for dairy farming. Farmers send their produce to butter and cheese factories in the district. The Duck River Butter Factory at Smithton is the biggest in Tasmania. Over a thousand tons of butter are made every year at the Duck River factory.
The pigs at the factory's pig farm are fed on buttermilk left over from the butter making. The pigs are cured for bacon at the new bacon factory on the outskirts of Smithton. We leave the town and head west along the Bass Highway towards Marawa. We pass through miles of rough timbered country. Away back from the road in the thick of the Montague Swamp, Bulldozers are at work, crushing down the virgin scrub. This land is being cleared to make new farms for settlers. Huge drag lines are carving miles of drainage channels through the swamp. These will carry away the water, and when the scheme is finished, there will be rich new land in the Montague Swamp, ready to fence off into farms. There are always timber getters that are getting, and often dangerous. Timber! When the log's been trimmed, the big caterpillar hauls it out to the loading platform to go by lorry into the mill. Fourteen tons of Tasmanian hardwood. As we approach the end of the Bass Highway, we come into open country. There is good grazing land here for fattening beef cattle, and all around Marawa district, you'll find herds of dairy cows too. And here we are at last in Marawa, the little town at the end of the highway. We've come more than 180 miles from Launceston, and now we're on the west coast, looking out over the stormy southern ocean. And now, let's look back at our map to check the important things we saw between Stanley and Marawa. First, at the historic old town of Stanley, we looked at the port and the fishermen. Then we climbed up onto the nut to see the radio link with the mainland. At Smithton, there was the big butter factory, and the rich swamp land that supplies the factory and the cannery. Then we drove west again and traveled through a long stretch of bush where we saw timber getters at work and new farms being cleared. Wow.